Ken Hinckley also under some sort of pressure, but it's been like that for a while, hasn't it, Cornsey? This is you last year on Ken Hinckley mid-year. Next year will be his 10th year, as we've spoken about on this show all year. And I just find it really hard for him to go beyond next year because it's going to have to be a grand final appearance or he probably will lose his job. It's not going to happen now and they'll support him and so they should. But next year is going to be a big amount of pressure coming his way. Yeah, I think that's exactly what Lordo's is saying. That 10-year barrier, if you haven't won a premiership, is about the time. And when you start 0-2, and two, when you have a performance like they did in the prelim, Caro, and then when you lose by 10 goals to a side that most of us thought were bottom four this year and the way they lost... Two prelims in a row... Yeah, man who uh, has come in with, with David Koch and others rebuilt that football club. Absolutely. But what I'm saying is, though, in leading into the season, there was a groundswell from the supporters. And you only have to go online to talk back radio to the pressure, to the letters to the CEO of the footy club. There is a groundswell against him. And at Port Adelaide, it is a little bit different. Once you lose the supporters, and I saw it with Mark Williams in 2010, I certainly saw it with Matthew Primus in 2011, 2012, they won't turn up. And he's, when not you're getting, that, he's not at that stage, though, is not he? Not at all. And, and this is what I'm saying. Like, he, so he's you're contra- saying the supporters are off him. I'm saying the supporters are off him. You, and so you I, think they're and starting I think, to turn. I think that is... a a real challenging situation for the leadership of the Port Adelaide Football Club and they need to be really strong in supporting him. Because he would know that. Why are they off him, Kane? It's been 10 years, Lord. I think the the dysfunction of the forward line is an issue. Um, I I think the way that they have lost against better sides, uh, they lost to West Coast, Brisbane, Geelong, Melbourne last year in the prelim final, so their record against the top end hasn't been great. So he signed a long-term deal. 2024. Yep. What Um, does that mean? Well, I don't think the money is that relevant because any club that is more of a recipient club to the AFL, there's payout clauses and and incentive clauses, so I don't think it would be the full payout. Mm. But I remember uh, reportedly Ken... And his family sat down with David Koch and other bosses of the club and almost said that, you know, you needed more support and more time and more support around you and a longer contract if you coached in Adelaide because the Adelaide environment was just a nightmare to work in when things turn against you. He might be one of those. He'd be great at another club, I think, because he's such a... He's not going to give up here. Ken will dig in and he will fight. He's a hard worker and he loves it. But after the game, he had this to say about the performance and the way they conceded their goals. Tonight was really, really clear that our front half staff being able to hit a scoreboard, being able to execute with some confidence at all was just not there. And then the return, I think eight or nine goals from our forward 50, fourth on turn, that just doesn't happen to us. When he's saying that doesn't happen to us, this is what he's talking about. They conceded only six goals for the entirety of the 2021 season from kickouts. They conceded four in one game against mm. what I see as a, a bottom four side. And this was the ease in which they done it. So lack of competitiveness forward, Lordo, and lack of pe- pressure on the way out and allowing Hawthorne to do this and then isolate their forwards was something that I know they would have reviewed really hard today. Yeah, my concern for them is some of the top-up players too. Jeremy Finlayson, mm. yeah. um, you know, young Sam Skinner, who got another opportunity. There's been a few of those rehashing of players over time and when it doesn't work, uh, also pressure can come on.